I've decided I need more. More? More of a man. You know what? Meeting women on the net might be the best thing for you. I want sex with Shonda. Child, you got my picture. That's nice and all, but um, I haven't had sex in two years, so are we gonna do it or what? What? I gotta feed my baby. How you doing? I'm only 16. I can do this with my tongue. CG Michelle, and we're behind the scenes of the independent film Computer Love. Stay tuned for a closer look inside the world of online dating. Hello, it's CG Michelle, and I'm sitting here with Atif Lanier, actor and filmmaker, and we're here to speak about his new upcoming movie, Computer Love. How you doing? I can't complain, I'm just here chilling. Everything's I mean, good? Everything is everything. Okay, well, tell me a little bit about Computer Love. Well, Computer Love um, is a story that's written by Mike Pender and myself about internet dating and how a young man basically goes online to meet women, but basically what he always had all along is always there. And it's partially based on experiences which I've experienced you know, with meeting women online because I was like a fiend. I just couldn't get enough of the internet. And basically some concepts that he had. So we came together and um, you know, we had this script, this idea, and it's, it's, it's been really just been, just been taken off. And who's Quayree? Quay Reed. Um, Quay Reed is the main character in the movie, mm -hmm. and actually, that's myself. I mean, I'm playing Quay oh, Reed. You play Quay. Right. Quay Reed was actually the name given to me at birth. Mm -hmm. My name, instead of Atif Lanier, was Atif Quay Reed. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I just, um, and originally, it's really funny. The character originally in the, in the script was called Sean Bowen. And I was like, yo, Mike, man, let's, let's, I got another name that could really fit. And I said the Quay Reed thing, he liked it. Mm -hmm. And we went from there. So basically, Quay Reed in the, in the movie, he's just a guy who, um, he's a motivational speaker by day, uh, um, author by night, who basically is just trying to transition between those two worlds. And um, at the time when doing that, he tried to get engaged to his ex-girlfriend, but the movie's ex-girlfriend, and it didn't work. Okay. My parallel in my life was, I work in pharmaceuticals, and I do this you know, this entertainment thing, trying to transition between that and doing that full time. So basically, like in the script, his, his girl, really wasn't with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's how it was with me as well, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and basically, it's like, took a scenario that was like, I'm really happy, it's kind of like, oh, Lord, have mercy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But in the movie, it's actually kind of comical, because okay. that's what kind of sets him up to become his spiral out of control into internet dating, and then basically, he, um, you know, within, he had to, you know, resolution with himself. But I don't, I don't love online like I used to. I mean, beforehand, I'd meet somebody on, you know, like, if I saw you on know, MySpace, I guess, oh, yeah. yes, Lord, I'm going to determine to meet her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's how it was, like, you know what I mean? Like, yes, I mean, this little type of stuff is done. Give me your phone, your phone right now, you know what I'm saying? So, but um, my philosophy now is that people that, if I actually lose my online, it's like, like, in the odds of me, like, you know, if I saw you in the street, I guess, aren't you on MySpace? You know, something like that, but it's yeah. not beforehand, it's like, deliberate like this, tomorrow night, we got to meet, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. there's a big difference. Grant Matthews is actually, um, He's plays um, Quay's like best friend, his, his right hand man, somebody who's with him who's comical. But also, he also busts Quay's chops a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it's basically um, Mike just made his code name for himself. Okay, himself, I was just gonna ask you. He called himself Grant right? instead. Okay. And if you read it, anybody who knows Mike Pender will read that. Like, that's Mike. You know what I'm saying? He's just <laughs> it's basically Mike Pender. It's like um, you know what I mean? And if you just base it on himself, except the only difference is that, well, a couple differences. From one, Mike's he's not a stand up comedian, even though he is very funny. He acts okay. like. You know, he's, he's a comedian, but you know, that's who he is. And he's like, um, actually, whether you realize or not, he's like the funniest guy in the script, in the movie. Okay. He's actually the funniest character because he basically brings a lot of funny things to the table, even when Quay is going through his stuff. And even in real life, my friends, when I was going through my issues, they're all like, you know, on the internet, you know, having a good time to catch my drift, but a good time was, <laughs> they were still making fun of me. But I was kind of like, y'all can make fun of me, I'm going, you know, Doing my thing, you guys. I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's that's who we are. You know okay, okay. Are any other familiar faces or, or names attached to the characters? Like someone that we recognize? Um, I'm not going to release that right now. Like okay, that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it, it's. I mean, there's some stuff. People like, oh, okay. I mean, you know, that person. I recognize that person. But I mean, like I said, the cast is not complete. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I mean, when the cast is complete, I'm pretty sure you recognize somebody. But like, I know him. Or I know her. You know what I'm saying? That's basically. What we um what we're going for. Still dating now. 
as far as internet dating, to me, it's the same as meeting someone face to face. Um, you basically exploring that in this movie. I mean, um, what we explore is that. I think one of the things you touch on is that Quaid's friends do tell him and say, listen, you know, there's a good possibility you can meet somebody that can, you know, put Kill you in the trap. Yeah, we do touch <laughs> on that, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think we touch on that as well. I think it's, it's funny, and this is, let me tell you a little, it's funny though. I know the crazy internet story I ever had was one time I met this girl. Well, first of all, she showed me a picture of her after she just gave birth. I mean, she just uh, had the pregnancy belly, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But she had like a pregnancy weight, right? Okay. So actually on the picture, she looked real good, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I get to her house, right? And I knock on the door, and a skinny girl comes to the door. I'm like, yo, is, um, I can bring her to what's name here. She was like, yeah. And I was kind of like, no, no, no. I'm talking about the girl, you know, the picture. <laughs> she was like, that's me. And I was kind of like, that's a blind. Yeah, that's a like, what blind happened to you? And she was kind of like, well, that's when I have my baby weight. And I was kind of like, what's going on? <laughs> but anyway, the whole time we went to the movie, we went to the movie theater, we went to go see um, Charlie's Angels. Okay. And I fell asleep. So not only was I felt like moving, but when I woke up moving, she was like, mm, mm, mm. I was kind of like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? So the whole time she was talking about her ex-boyfriend, how crazy he was, he crazy, 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 crazy. And I was getting like, yeah, whatever. So I know how crazy it was, so I pulled her to the house, I pulled up, and she was like, this, this, she was like, well, she's like, now I'm here. She said, she said, I need a kiss. And I was kind of like, I was like, nah, I'm over. Then she was leaning over and kissing me, and in the middle of trying to lean over, she stopped and looked at her car. She was like, oh, damn, he did it again. And I was like, he did what? She said, he flattened my for my tires. I was kind of like, I looked at him kind of like, what, what, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? She's my ex-boyfriend. He's seen my right in the bushes. And I was kind of like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was in the bushes. And she was like, yeah. She was like, give me a kiss. I was like, no. Wait. Dude slashed all your tires with who knows what, like a knife. So all you got to do, you got to do is kiss me. And next thing you know, it's OJ Simpson all over again. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah. So, I mean, it's just like, you know, these are the things you can expect. Because mm -hmm. beforehand, she was talking about, you know, we're going to meet. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And, you know, so. Do you yeah. have any situations like that in the story? Um, yeah, we got some situations where, you know, you meet people where they don't, it's all about people claiming what they're not, you know, claim, you know what they don't claim to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got some scenarios of people saying that I'm X, Y, Z. And it's kind of like, yeah, it's like, yeah, no, no, you're not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's what we talk about too. They lose people, like I said, they become somebody else. They like take a picture and they put their head on somebody's body and get there. It's kind of like, you know what I mean? So yeah. we, we have those scenarios within the, within the script. So, Atif, what got you into acting? Well, it's kind of funny because acting when I was younger, I really didn't, um, I'm honest with you, I really didn't respect it. I thought it was something that um, guys who uh, weren't the most masculine individuals would do. So basically, one night at church, I, um, I um, went to church one night, and they were talking about they were having a play. And, um, you know, the director, who actually has a, a theater background, said to me that she wanted me to come out for the play. And I'm saying to myself, I was like, Okay, so I went and actually read for the play. When I read for the play, it was a couple of lines. I figured, what the heck? And about two weeks later, I got an email. Not an email. Excuse me. I, she actually called me and told me that I had a part, and I laughed about it. Then I saw her in church again. She said, um, "Hey, you got a part." So I'm thinking, I said, "Yeah, give me like two quick lines. Mm -hmm. I can like you know basically be on the off. But she was like, "Oh no, sir, you have more than that." I said, "Excuse me," and she was like, uh, "You have, um, you have um, um, the lead part." And I kind of was taken aback. And at the time, I was playing a football, it was like semi-pro football. And I was like, well, I got football practice. She was like, um, is you going to NFL? I said, no. She was like, then I'll see you on Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? And when I did that, it actually would taught me, I respected a lot about the, the, the craft itself because I didn't realize that it, it wasn't as just as simple as I thought. Okay. Even my movements on stage, my presence on stage, it was just like a learning experience. And from there, I basically got um, the desire to further the, with the craft itself, but also I had a the writing bug also after reading this play and after being in it, and it just pretty much set me to a point where I said I want to get further into this and do more and more acting.